The Biden administration making a big announcement in an attempt to fight gun crime is issuing a new rule that it says will close what's known as the gun show loophole. According to the White House, there are more than 80,000 licensed gun dealers in America, and the Department of Justice estimates that more than 20,000 unlicensed sellers are selling firearms through outlets like gun shows and online. And the new rule classifies these sellers as federally licensed firearms dealers, requiring them to conduct background checks. Joining us now is Delaware Senator Chris Coons. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. Thank you. Great to be with you, Eva, Marco. So I'm curious, what are you hoping this accomplishes? And do you think it can withstand the expected legal challenges that are to come? Well, it builds on the bipartisan Safer Communities Act, which President Biden led a bipartisan effort in the Senate to get to his desk. Uh, this was just about two years ago. It was the most important piece of federal legislation to advance common sense gun safety in nearly 30 years. And it takes a while for the federal government to then implement it by issuing new rules. Uh, this effort by the Department of Justice to further define what, me what it means to be a federally licensed firearm dealer and to close the online and gun show uh, loopholes um, is the next best step. It will be challenged immediately in court by the NRA and uh, other gun rights groups. I am hopeful that it will withstand legal scrutiny because it is rooted in a piece of law that was passed uh, by both houses and signed into law by the president. There are a lot of people who are going to go, why hasn't this been done before? Why <laughs> now? Uh, well, why now? Because there are mass shootings across the United States week after week uh, at concerts, at schools, at houses of worship, requiring a basic background check before we sell people uh, weapons that they can then use to harm others is a critical part of advancing common sense gun safety in this country. Uh, that's why that this was founded in a bipartisan law. All right, Senator Eggs, spokesperson for Texas Senator John Cornyn, uh, who helped negotiate the Safer Communities Act, calls the rule unconstitutional and says the administration is acting lawlessly. What's your response? Well, I, although I respect and uh, work well with Senator Cornyn on a number of issues, I disagree with him on this. Uh, I think it was a clear next step from the bipartisan law uh, that there would be an expanded definition of who is a firearm dealer who has to do background checks, someone who is principally engaged in the business of selling firearms. That's the core of this new rule. It says that if your business is selling guns on the internet or selling guns at a gun show, then you have to participate in the background check system. Uh, I think it is a simple implementation of a bipartisan law. Let's turn now to the abortions rights battle that is uh, taking place right now in Arizona, where the state's highest court upheld an 1864 law banning nearly all abortions. What's your reaction to that? Well, Eva, when former President Trump says that his position on abortion is let's just leave it to the states, this chaos in Arizona where they are putting into force an 1864 law, a near total ban on abortion is exactly what follows. President Trump's trying to run away from his record as the person who put on the Supreme Court the three conservative justices who overturned Roe versus Wade, and now we're seeing the consequences. Whether it's in Florida, where their Supreme Court is implementing a six-week abortion ban, or in Arizona, uh, or in Alabama, where IVF and contraception and access to basic reproductive health care and reproductive freedom is now at risk throughout the country. Senator, you just introduced a bill to renew a U.S. trade pact with Sub-Saharan Africa before it expires next year. Uh, why is this trade deal so important? What happens if it does expire? Well, this is an opportunity for growing African nations uh, to sell into the American market. The African Growth and Opportunity Act actually goes back to Bill Clinton's administration, and it's been regularly renewed under both Democratic and Republican administrations. Republican Senator Jim Risch has joined me and six other members of the Senate in introducing a reauthorization bill. It strengthens our ties with growing economies and countries. I recently joined Senator Murray in visiting six countries in Africa where we have the opportunity to compete with access to our free market economy uh, with China, which has grown its ties and its commerce with Africa dramatically. I think it's an important part of stabilizing democracies like Kenya um, that are trying to be closer partners and allies of the United States. We need to recognize that movement towards us 
by extending this critical long-term trade deal with several African countries. All right, Delaware Senator Chris Coons, thanks for coming on, and we hope you come back. Thank you both. Have okay. a great afternoon. You too. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.